Alright. So, sorry about that, guys. I, uh, I had to take a break. Uh, so continuing... Yeah... I can't even... <laughs> I can't do phrasing. Right, here we go. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? I had a good reason to stop here and you will um, see why soon. Something really weird just happened. said in the school regulations what the, was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in. So... Do not let this recording go, get corrupted.
It is now night time. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh. Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? What if I wasn't just kidding? <laughs> okay, we'd better trade keys then. Just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. So he teaches her the trick to opening the bathroom door. You turn the knob and then you lift up the door and when you pull that out. I bet that's going to be important. But the showers don't work during night time anyway, right? Okay, well, I'd better get going. Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm? When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. <laughs> yeah, I know. no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Rushed into Sayaka's room from mine. Smells nice though. Alright, well I guess I should take a look then. <laughs> it was the DVD with her name on it that we'd found in the AV room. I'm feeling tense. I need to try to relax. So this time I'm actually playing, uh, well, well before I actually have to go to bed. Because I just start thinking about the game when I finish playing it and just get. <laughs> I just end up having problems going to sleep, or falling asleep, because of it. Hmm. 
I definitely didn't expect the game to impact me in such a way that it has been doing. All in a good way, of course, although... Well, not all in a good way, but... Live happily ever after together. And it is morning. Never going to say anything different. Hmm, slowly pulled myself out of bed, remembering that I was in Saika's room. And it's time for breakfast. By the time I got there. Oh, good for you. Good morning. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late... ...were the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever... <laughs> well, I can totally see that. It... <laughs> Think of the time it would take for Celeste to do her hair in the morning. I blame the Bermuda tri Triangle. Don't care about people or other people in t about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Sayaka and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but... I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... Nanda. I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small, dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I... I need to go.
It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. This game, this game, why do you do this? Why? <laughs> Sayaka is dead. <laughs> Dad, when I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Right now, we need to do whatever he says.